With no end in sight to the Pasir Gudang pollution crisis, residents in the area are now getting more and more restless. Because of this, the Sungai Kim Kim Toxic Victims and Pasir Gudang Pollution Action Committee will be filing a lawsuit against 11 defendants, including the Johor State Government and Menteri Besar, over the issue. The lawsuit represents 160 people, including 34 students and 120 fishermen who were affected by the pollution. Lawyer Kamaruddin Ahmad said the lawsuit will be filed at the Johor Bahru High Court on July 17th. Majority of the victims are asking for compensation between 4,000 and 5,000 ringgit each and leaving it to the courts to decide on other compensation. The lawsuit is also seeking a 5 million ringgit compensation for general damages suffered by Irfan Wafi Irham Wazir. The 12-year-old suffered from myokimia after he was believed to have been exposed to the toxic pollution in Sungai Kim Kim in March. Meanwhile, in a viral social media post, a 38-year-old woman from Chahaya Masai was alleged to have died from breathing complications caused by pollution in Pasir Gudang yesterday. Her husband had also urged the government to take stern action to resolve the pollution crisis. Health Minister Datu Sri Dr. Zulkafli Ahmad in a statement today, however, clarified that the woman did not die from the pollution crisis in Pasir Gudang. The statement added she was suffering from hypertension over the past 10 years and had died from decompensated heart failure. Records also showed the deceased did not seek treatment during the Sungai Kim Kim or the June 20th pollution incident.